This time I'm going to discharge the capacitor bank through a chunk of steel wool that can be seen attached to the clip leads there. However, I'm going to put some of the very flammable ethyl alcohol based hand sanitizer onto the steel wool clump before I dump the cap bank through it. Let's see what happens. Let's add some hand sanitizer gel to the steel wool. There's a nice blobbing of it to put on there. Should be ready. Let's give the steel wool and hand sanitizer a try. Charging, charged, and fire. There wasn't an explosion, but if I turn out the extra lighting, we can see that the hand sanitizers were ignited by that blast. There's still a fair bit of the steel wool clump left, so let's hit it again. See what if anything happens here. Already charging, charged, and fire. Again, a nice bang. Unplug for safety. Bank voltmeter reads zero. Shorting test, zero, everything's safe. And again, we got uh, a little fire going. I'll put out the extra light again, and we can see that the hand sanitizer was again ignited on the surviving clump of steel wool. I've taken a fresh little piece of steel wool, and in the grey cup beside it I have about 3 milliliters of lacquer thinner that I'm going to pour onto the steel wool and soak into it just before I fire it. Lacquer thinners are supposed to be extremely inflammable, far more inflammable than the hand sanitizer I just tried. Everything's set. I've poured the lacquer thinners onto the steel wool evenly. They've had a few seconds to soak in, and we're ready to go. Charging, charged, and fire! Unplug for safety. <coughs> Bank voltmeter reads zero as the target continues to burn. 